Okay, so now the graph. So for the graph, we're plotting these lines here. Um, sorry, if I just get the shape on. So we're plotting one over u and one over v. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really matter for this particular graph, which one goes on which axis. Um, so I'm just going to fit as big a graph as I can here. Okay, and we'll make, so don't forget to label your axis, we'll make this one over U and we'll make this one over V. Okay, so these are kind of, these are awkward numbers, obviously. Um, but if you try and think of them without their decimals, you know, so if you think about these numbers, rather than being like 0 0.05, if you think about it as like 25, 33, Oh, not 300, so 33 and 50 as the numbers. Do you know what I mean? Makes it a little bit easier, I think, to understand. Right, so how do we do this? Um, we need to pick a scale that will work. I mean, I could just do 0 0.01 and just give myself a bit of space. Uh, one two, three, no, too much. All right, we'll go two boxes. So we make this 0 0.01, this 0 0.02, this 0 0.03, this 0 0.04, and then this is 0 0.05. Yeah. And then the other one, we could actually just do the same. So 0 0.01, skip two boxes, 0 0.02, skip two boxes, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, skip two boxes, 0 0.03, and 0 0.05. Right, so the first pair is highlighted in blue there. So it's 0 0.05 on the 1 over u axis and 0 0.15 on the 1 over v axis. So... Uh, 0 0.05 and 0 0.15, is, it's going to be there. Is that right? So 0 0.05 and 0 0.015. Is that right? 0 0.05, 0 0.015. Yeah? Okay, so that's the first one. Second one is 33 and 32. Okay, so this here would be 35 so 33 is there sorry i never realized you can't see what i'm doing and then 32 maybe about there so that is 0 0.033 0 0.032 yeah and the Last one then is 25 and 4. So that, oh no, there. Yeah, 25 and 0 0.04. So that is 0 0.025 and 0 0.04. Right, now, so once we have our dots, and obviously all of the graphs that we did in uh, mechanics were always like straight lines through the origin, and this isn't that. Um, right, so this is really awkward on um, one note, so bear with me, please. Okay. Right, so you want to draw a line that goes through the three dots and then you want to extrapolate that line, which basically means lengthen it. Or extend it. To cut the axis. 
okay? Both axes. Yeah? Right. Now, we'll start down here. So I want to know what this point is where it's crossing the axis, like this here. So I'm going to keep going with my so 0 0.05. So skip two boxes, 0 0.06. Skip two boxes, 0 0.07. Okay, so that means this here is 0 0.065. Um, so it's just before that. So do we say 0 0.064? Yeah? Okay. So that point, that point that I have in pink is 0 0.064. And if we do the coordinates, it would be 0 0.0640. 0. Yeah? So you know when you do like, say this kind of thing, and this is one, this is two, this is three, and you have a point that's like here, it's two, zero. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting the coordinates, okay? So 0 0.0640, zero. right? But on this graph, x is 1 over u, and y is 1 over v, yeah? Because literally, that's what I have. Here's the x-axis with 1 over u on it, and then up here... Oh, all the way up here, the y-axis with 1 over v on it, yeah? So we get a little, you know our formula, our 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. And for this point, it becomes 1 over f equals 0 0.064 plus 0, yeah? So basically, we have a value for 1 over f, 0 0.064. Yeah, and then we're going to do the exact same thing up here. So I'll do this in yellow. So here I am here. Again, I'm going to extend this. So this is 0 0.06 and this is 0 0.07. Uh, so this point, oh no, sorry. Uh, this point here is 0 0.065, so a little bit more this time. So the coordinates of this point are 0, 0 0.066. Yeah? And then we can apply the same logic. So this is the x coordinate, and the x coordinate is 1 over u. This is the y coordinate, and the y coordinate is 1 over v. So we get 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. Sub in our values, so it becomes 0 plus 0 0.066. So 1 over f equals 0 0.066. Okay, so I've gotten two values from my graph for 1 over f. So over here, I'm going to get an average... 1 over f. So from down here, 0 0.064. And from over here, 0 0.066. It's an average, so two numbers added together, divide by 2. That's going to be 0 0.065. And again, we don't want 1 over f, we want f. So we either use this button or... We do 1 over 0 0.065, but regardless of how you do it, it's 1 divided by 0 0.065 is, oh my god, sorry, it actually worked out perfect, did it? So it's 15.4 centimetres, which I am pretty sure is what I got in my table. Yes, it is. So I got an average from my table of 15.4 centimetres, and I got an average from my graph of 15.4 centimetres. OK, so that is how you do the results table, the calculations and the graph. It's not a slope in this one. You extrapolate and you take intercepts. So we figured out where it cut the X axis. We figured out where it cut the Y axis. That gave us two values for one over F, which we averaged. And obviously this data being manufactured data is perfect. OK, 
So hopefully that helps you with your um, graph. And at least then you'll have it to look back on as well because these, these graphs are a bit tricky. And the, the lens one, the, when you do the lens experiment, the graph's exact same. Okay.